0 0.25, which is only 25% visible. When I publish it now, I get back the first circle at 25% of the transparency of the other circles. So basically, I've called an indexed value from my array after I have put all the values that come out of this cycle or this loop into my array. I call the first value, define its parameter or alpha method by using this alpha method, define the value, and then publishing it, I can test that my array actually works, and I can get back the values that I want back from my array. So here, basically what we have done is put together all that we have learned so far in our first three lessons and this fourth lesson. That means variables, functions, loops, and now arrays. And we put all the things together by creating variables, using the functions here, using the loops to create values on the fly, put back the parameters into the function, retrieve the values, and then put them into an array, and treating the array as a database, keeping that data saved into the array, and then retrieving it as we need, and modifying it on the fly. This set of code, this whole code here, is the basis of programming in ActionScript 3. It is very important that you learn how to do this properly, do your examples, do your tests, and so on, because this would be the basis of what you need to do when you program seriously in ActionScript 3. Remember that arrays can be treated in, in a sort of a database manner. It could be treated similar to a, to a database where data and objects can be stored and kept, indexed, and then retrieved as we need them, modified on the fly, and produced in the output. Okay, I'm going to teach you something new now how to take what we have learned so far to the next step.